is a two out of three falls match and is for the WWE Cruiserweight Championship. February 25th, May 14th, and now June the 18th, 2023. The three chapters in this storied rivalry for the prestigious Cruiserweight Championship of the World. And now the Hall of Famer, the master of the 619, and the former nine-time Cruiserweight Champion Rey Mysterio looks to reclaim the gold he lost just over a month ago against his arch rival Santos Escobar. Rey Mysterio was the one who threw out the challenge for WWE's first ever Extreme Lucha Rules match. As you saw in the video package, two out of three falls. Falls count anywhere, anything goes. This quite possibly may be the biggest Cruiserweight Championship match in the history of the prestigious title. Rey Mysterio wanted this bout, Santos Escobar accepted, and all roads have led us to the land of extreme here in Philadelphia with the gold on the line. And now the leader of Legado del Fantasma, the Emperor of Lucha Libre, and most importantly, the Cruiserweight Champion makes his championship presence felt. And Santos Escobar rocking the war paint tonight. And I believe Santos Escobar is also reminiscing of the gear that Rey Mysterio wore at Halloween Havoc 1997 against the late great Eddie Guerrero. Well, the funny thing about this is Santos Escobar once wore that very gear in respect to Rey Mysterio several years ago in NXT. But I think tonight Escobar is trying to get in the psyche of the master of the 619. Dawning the purple, dawning the question marks, dawning the face paint. Santos Escobar is looking to get into the mind of Rey Mysterio and almost tell Rey that his time at the top is over and it's time for Escobar to lead the cruiserweight division at the top. A very interesting situation and a big fight feel in a city that knows extreme better than anyone else. The city that made it famous, Philadelphia. It's extreme lucha rules for the first time ever. Cruiserweight championship is on the line. These two men have left it all in the ring time and time again. They look to do it again tonight. One more time, who is gonna leave the land of extreme with the cruiserweight gold? Introducing the challenger. From San Diego, California, weighing in at 175 pounds, Rey Mysterio! And his opponent, from Mexico City, Mexico, weighing in at 200 pounds, he is the WWE Cruiserweight Champion, Santos Escobar! Rey Mysterio won the gold for the ninth time in his career on January the 1st, retained it all the way through May the 14th last month when Santos Escobar put together the pieces to take down Rey Mysterio. Mysterio has not forgotten about that fateful night in Vancouver, Canada, but tonight it all comes to a head. Only one man can leave Philadelphia, the cruiserweight champion of the world. Who is it going to be? The challenger, Rey Mysterio, or the champion, Santos Escobar. We are underway with quite possibly, as we mentioned, the biggest cruiserweight championship match of all time. And if not, definitely tying the place of the matchup that we mentioned with Santos Escobar, Rey Mysterio and Eddie Guerrero, Halloween Havoc 1997. Oh, wait a minute, Escobar outside of the squared circle. And we're not even... 30 seconds into this matchup, and Escobar is looking to inflict some punishment with some extraordinary weapons, but Rey Mysterio capitalizes as Escobar is looking to take advantage. Ladder in play, and just mere moments in the opening of this matchup. Anything goes again, ladies and gentlemen. Falls count anywhere. Pinfalls can take place in the ring, at ringside. They can take place in the streets of Philadelphia. As long as two falls or submissions are made, we will have a Cruiserweight Champion. Mysterio putting that ladder in the corner. 
Rey Mysterio has had many extreme matches right in this very city. Remember back in 1995, Rey Mysterio and Psychosis had the Mexican death match down at the ECW Arena. One of the most legendary matches in Rey Mysterio's career. As a matter of fact, one of the most legendary matches in Philadelphia and ECW history. As Rey Mysterio tried to bring that chair into play, but Escobar's got other things in mind. These guys are not wasting any time trying to incorporate the weapons into this matchup. And what a DDT on the chair. Mysterio going for the cover and almost had the first pinfall of the match, but to no avail. Rey Mysterio getting creative with the extraordinary extreme weapons tonight as Escobar meant the ladder there. Rey followed up with a simple yet effective chop to the heart. Already seeing a ladder. A chair into play. Now Mysterio on the outside. And Rey Mysterio is getting the wood. The table has been brought into play. And these two men not wasting any time going to the extreme here in Philadelphia. Escobar tried cutting Rey off, but Rey Mysterio full head of steam. Drop kick right to the dome. Here comes Rey again off the springboard. There is a reason Rey Mysterio is a former nine-time cruiserweight champion, and there's a reason he held the gold from January the 1st to May the 14th of this year. He defeated Ricochet. He defeated Santos Escobar at WrestleMania. He defeated Humberto Carrillo. Defeated Axiom. Santos Escobar just had the right tools in play on May 14th at Vengeance to defeat Rey Mysterio. Rey trying to right the wrong tonight. A pinfall, but Escobar gets the shoulder off the canvas. These men are really not wasting any time here. And I think that's really playing into the rules of this matchup. They know they got to get at least two pinfalls or submissions to win this thing. Get that first one out of the way early. You take the advantage. And Mysterio through the ropes and a tornado DDT on the outside. And now here we go. First pinfall of the matchup on the outskirts of the ring. And referee... And that may happen a few times here. Referee was a little out of position. He's going to have to do his best to keep up with the offense tonight. As this matchup can spill anywhere to the city of Philadelphia. And Escobar taking out the knee of Ray. Mysterio doing what he does best. Flying through the sky with that tornado DDT. And down went the cruiserweight champion. Now Escobar back in the ring trying to bring that chair. And use it as a weapon against the master of the 619, but Rey Mysterio had other plans. Two out of three falls, as we mentioned. It's one thing to defeat your opponent once. It's a whole other thing to do it again. That is going to be the tricky situation in the Cruiserweight Championship battle. As Mysterio scales the ropes. And up to the outside with a seated senton on the champion. And into the cover again. Rey, desperate for the early pinfall, but Escobar survives. Close call there by the cruiserweight champion. Almost got caught. You really don't want to go down that zero to one in this matchup because then you're fighting an uphill battle. Mysterio wants the advantage, as does Escobar. But Ray is just a little bit closer there. But Escobar able to avoid what looked like possibly another seat at sent time from Ray. Escobar now trying to change the tides of this matchup on the outside of the ring into the pinfall on his challenger as Mysterio gets the shoulder up. These two men have been fighting tooth and nail almost all throughout this year in the lead up to WrestleMania. After WrestleMania, Escobar spent weeks, months even, on SmackDown trying to build his way back up to becoming number one contender. This rivalry has spilled all the way to tonight, June the 18th. Wait a minute, Escobar's got another chair. Rey Mysterio was able to avoid it. And I'll send in Escobar into the corner. And face first, off the cold hard steel, goes the Cruiserweight Champion. And a Mysterio, crucifix pinfall. And another close call as Escobar gets the kick out again. You know, we've talked about this tonight already, but that kick out, even if you think you're not going to get the pinfall, you're taking that almost enthusiasm out of your opponent, forcing him to put out some extraordinary offense there is Rey Mysterio beautiful maneuver not able to put Escobar down 
Almost had a Mysterio. So many close calls by the challenger in the opening moments of this matchup. Multiple Tornado DDTs. And the Cruiserweight Champion, although surviving, not able to put Rey Mysterio, I should say not able to get the momentum over the challenger, Rey Mysterio, just yet. This has been all Rey Mysterio thus far, as Escobar now got his opponent on the top, but Rey avoiding it. Rey Mysterio wants that first pinfall more than anything. He knows the advantage that it will bring in this Extreme Lucha Rules. Escobar now once again countering out Rey. And does he have what it takes? to take the momentum, and that time he does. Steel chair off the mask of the challenger. Escobar putting that chair back in the corner. Now the cruiserweight champion starting to unload, keeping it simple with the shots. Now it goes behind, and a backdrop on Ray. And he's not done here. German suplex. He could be going for the three-peat, but turns it around into a suplex by Escobar. A Three Amigos variation, if you will. And Rey Mysterio feeling the punishment by the Emperor of Lucha Libre. Rey might have been controlling the first part of this matchup, but although he did some damage on Escobar, not able to capitalize, and now the champion is starting to wrestle his style of matchup. Escobar had something in mind, but Rey Mysterio was getting to his feet. Escobar changed his mind. It might have cost him there. Can't second guess when you're in the ring with the Hall of Famer Rey Mysterio. As Escobar gets sent to the outside, and now Rey setting up a table inside of the squared circle. Meanwhile, Escobar is taking another ladder out from under the ring. This is what Extreme Lucha Rules is all going to be about tonight. And Rey might have caught Escobar. Hurricane Rana takes him off his feet. We got tables, we got ladders, we got chairs. Two out of three falls, but we still don't have a decision just yet. As Escobar up against the wood of the table. Oh, wait a minute, Mysterio here. Ray looking to use the table to fruition tonight. Suplex through the wood. Santos Escobar is down and out. And Ray Mysterio now. Not going for the cover just yet. Ray's heading to the top rope. Going for the double stomp, but nobody home. And Ray might have had an opportunity there, but he second guessed himself, and it might have cost him. Escobar went through the table. Ray not able to capitalize. Down goes the champion. Tilt to world backbreaker. Very Eddie Guerrero esque out of the playbook of the cruiserweight champion. Don't turn your back on Mysterio, and Escobar hits the chair again. Escobar's got to be hurting. He has felt more of the punishment with the weapons opposed to Rey Mysterio so far in this matchup. Escobar dazed on his feet. Rey Mysterio springboard, splitting the difference. Bulldog! And Rey Mysterio has set up that ladder, and I don't know what the challenger has got in mind. The title's not hanging above the ring. Mysterio off the top. See it, it's in time. Mysterio, go big or go home. But Escobar kicks out again. Philadelphia giving their love to the champion and the challenger. But nonetheless, we are still without a decision in this contest so far in a two out of three fall situation. Santos Escobar surviving everything Rey Mysterio is throwing at him tonight. Escobar, if you weren't a believer before, you certainly gotta be now a three-time Cruiserweight Champion in WWE. And Rey Mysterio, although throwing everything at Escobar, is finding out why. Now Rey's looking back under, underneath the ring and pulling out another table. Mysterio relying on the Stipulation that again was his idea for this matchup tonight. Ray could have easily challenged Escobar to a normal one on one contest, but Ray knew for this situation to end, he had to up the ante and prove who was the better man once and for all. And considering this was all Ray's idea, I can't really blame Escobar for getting a little extra physical with the steel chair to the mask of Ray. 
Mysterio knows that every steel chair shot, every use of a table, every use of a ladder is one step closer to him not leaving the champion. Try to avoid it there, but he got caught off that bicycle knee. And oh no, wait a minute, wait a minute. These two Lucha Libre stars are going to utilize the Spanish announce table, but Escobar stacking up Ray on the outside of the ring. And he almost had him for the pinfall there, but Rey Mysterio shoves him off. What a matchup thus far for the Cruiserweight Championship of the world. You aren't going to see this kind of action in any other universe. You aren't going to see the Cruiserweight Championship displayed in such high prestige anywhere else. And Mysterio, a sense of urgency out of the challenger. Ray has got his eyes on the Spanish announce table. Rey Mysterio looking to showcase just why he is a Hall of Famer tonight. Escobar on the table. And what the hell does the master of the 619 have in mind? Rey Mysterio on the top rope. Oh no! A crash and burn through the announce table. Santos Escobar got out of the way. Nobody home on the delivery. And Mysterio went crashing through the Spanish announce table. Not good. Not good for the challenger. He might have sealed his own fate off that high risk maneuver. And Escobar's looking to capitalize inside the confines of the ring. And oh no, on the shoulders. And we know what comes next. Phantom Driver. Escobar into the cover. And he has secured the first pinfall in this two out of three falls. Extreme Lucha rules. And Rey Mysterio, off that crash and burn, now finds himself at a disadvantage. He is in need of a pinfall or a submission, or Escobar is going to be leaving Cruiserweight Champion. And you saw the sense of urgency out of Rey immediately took Escobar out of the equation for a moment. Now Rey setting up that table. He knows he is now at the disadvantage in this Extreme Lucha Rules match. Rey made his bed and he may have to sleep in it tonight. Escobar trying to avoid whatever Ray had in mind. Ray off the shoulders. We're going to take out the knee of Escobar. Into the corner. The champion goes. Escobar on top here. The Hall of Famer coming up on the shoulders. Look out. Below. Crash landing for Escobar. Huracamarana. Frankensteiner through the table. But Escobar kicks out again. Santos Escobar showing his intestinal fortitude and proving why he is the cruiserweight champion of the world. Mysterio has got to be racking his brain right now. Questioning what the hell he's got to do to keep the Emperor of Lucha, Lucha Libre down and out for a three count. Rey Mysterio is having difficulty doing it once. And remember, he's got to do it at least twice to leave the Cruiserweight Champion. Tilt to whirl, head scissors, takes down Escobar. But clearly, the leader of Legado del Fantasma is just on his highest level tonight. Mysterio is having trouble keeping down Escobar. And now Santos, wait a minute, pops the knees out of Rey Mysterio and trying to turn him over for a Boston Crab in the city of Philadelphia. Mysterio taps this thing is over. Escobar will leave. Cruiserweight champion. Mysterio's got to be in pain right now, especially off that crash landing through the announce table. Mysterio. Oh, wait a minute. Popped him out. Sunset flip. Into the cover. Almost stole a pinfall there. Almost had him. Close call on Escobar. Not wanting to even the score. Immediately on the attack. And using the chair. On the chick, or excuse me, on the challenger. This thing is getting extreme, just as we knew it would. Mysterio has got to be hurting right now more than ever. And again, Rey Mysterio, he called for this matchup. He knew things had to end between him and Santos Escobar on the highest of levels once and for all. Rey made the bed, and he may have to sleep in it tonight. But Rey, Frankensteiner again. But Escobar survives. 
Mysterio could not have been expecting this fight out of Escobar. This is the third meeting in the last several months between these two men, but incorporate the tables, incorporate the ladders, incorporate the chairs. Ray had to believe he would have kept down Escobar at least once by now. But somehow the cruiserweight champion is operating on a completely different gear right now. He's got that chair and following Rey Mysterio on the outside and Santos Escobar trying to take the old dog out back and put him out of his misery. But Mysterio, the heart of a fighter. The biggest little man in WWE history, proving why. Mysterio has done it all in this business, but he wants to become a 10-time Cruiserweight Champion. Setting up that ladder again. I don't know what Ray's got in mind. You notice Mysterio hasn't been able to connect with a 619, hasn't even really attempted it in this match. He hasn't gotten Escobar in position for it. These two men know each other well. Rey Mysterio has tried to pull out some different maneuvers to throw Escobar off his game and do it all he can. Code Red. And not going for the cover. Mysterio calculating his next move over the champion. Oh, and Escobar hitting the ladder hard. Mysterio set up that ladder and Santos Escobar finding out why. I don't know what Mysterio has got in mind with the hardware, but he needs a pinfall and he needs it now. He's got to be getting close, at least you would think. With all the damage that has been inflicted on Santos Escobar, how much more can you really take before your shoulders are counted down for the three? Wait a minute. Oh, no! I don't know what Mysterio had in mind, but Escobar shoving him off the ladder. And now, a second Phantom Driver on the Challenger. Into the cover. And Santos Escobar, a clean sweep in the Extreme Lucha Rules. An absolutely monumous matchup is all I can say. Hardcore to the core. And Santos Escobar is leaving the land of extreme, still the WWE Cruiserweight Champion of the World. Here is your winner, and still the WWE Cruiserweight Champion, Santos Escobar. The three-time Cruiserweight Champion, the Emperor of Lucha Libre, there is no doubting Santos Escobar now. He has made a statement tonight that he is truly the king of the cruiserweights. Who is going to be next to step up? We will find out in due time. But tonight in Philadelphia belongs to the leader of Legado del Fantasma. Santos Escobar is still your cruiserweight champion of the world. Face on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise if you hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm a rock.